So to evaluate f of negative 1 and f of 1, we need to know when this function is defined for both of those values. And we're going to do that by using the restrictions of the piecewise function. The square root of negative x is only defined when for x values that are less than 1. And x plus 1 is only defined for x values that are greater than or equal to 1. So if I want to evaluate the function f of x for negative 1, I'm only going to plug it into this function because that's how the function is defined. So f of negative 1 is going to equal we're just going to plug in a negative 1 in for the x. Now, ne minus a negative, negative negative 1 is going to be positive 1. Square root of 1 is just going to be 1. And then if I want to do f of 1, I would have here, you're going to plug in here because this is for x values that are greater than or equal to 1. So in this case, we'll have 1 plus 1, which is just going to be 2. So if I have 1 plus 2, well, that's going to equal 3, which is answer D.